welcome to another video. I hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles and I am really excited because I have 68 videos up on my channel. This is actually the 69th video on my channel and it's the first video that is not on an algebra topic. It's actually about trigonometry and for the next eight weeks or so, all my content will be about trigonometry. So I think that's pretty cool. I really like trigonometry. I think it's pretty interesting, but hopefully these videos can help some people who are, you know, on Google searching for some online help at two in the morning. They have an exam the next day and they come across my video. If you're that person, I hope this video helps. So before we can talk about angles and trigonometric functions and all this stuff, we need to talk about how angles are measured. And usually up to this point, all you've seen is degrees and now you're being introduced radians. So now we need to learn how to convert between degrees and radians and radians and degrees and all this stuff. So we know that 360 degrees, this is a full rotation around a circle, right? And this is equal to two pi radians. So we're gonna use this fact to basically construct a general way to get from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. So the way I do it, is I set up what's called a proportion, and maybe you've seen this somewhere in like high school math. Um, but basically I set up two pi over 360 equals x. This is what I'm trying to solve for. This is what 135 degrees is in radians, that's x. x over 135. And the way I kind of read this out loud to understand it is I say two pi is to 360 as x is to 135. That's how just how I say it out loud. So, but if we solve this for x, then what do we have? We have 135 degrees converted to radians. So the first thing I notice is that I can actually go ahead and simplify this before I do any solving, because two over 360, uh, I can divide 360 by two. Basically, I'm multiplying top and bottom by uh, one half, one half over one half. So I can cross this two into 360 and I'm left with 180 on the bottom and just pi on the top and I'll actually go ahead and erase I will go ahead and erase because that's a little messy and we don't want our work to be messy So what did I have up there? I had pi over 180 and that was just from simplifying Okay, all right now I can continue what will I do well I can multiply 135 to both sides because if I do that Well, that's all I really need to do to solve for X that cancels this 135 and I'm left with just X on the right hand side Which is which is exactly what I want and on the left-hand side, I have 135 times pi over 180. So I can go ahead and cross out these 135s. So now I have x solved for. If I just evaluate this, then that is my 135 degree angle in radians. But let's think about what we have here because we can come up with a general uh, formula, a general method for converting degrees to radians by just kind of looking at this and analyzing it. Look what happened, I had pi over 180. I'll always have that on the left, right? And let's think about if I was given a different angle. Let's think about if I was given 300 degrees, what would I do? Well, it would be the exact same thing. It would be pi over 180 equals x over, the only difference would be this would be 300 and I multiply both sides by 300. So no matter what the degree angle measure is, that's gonna be in the denominator. I'm gonna multiply both sides from it. So in general, how can we get from degrees to radians? Well, we can take our degree angle and multiply it by pi over 180. So for degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. And maybe your instructor just showed you this and just said, hey, degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. And that's great. If you can memorize that, then, then use that, and that's awesome. But for me, I'm a big fan of memorizing as little as possible. So uh, I do have this memorized, but in case I ever forget it, I can always go back to this proportion and be like, oh yeah, that's where that comes from. and kind of remind myself, you know. So to get from degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. I can go ahead and evaluate this. Let's see, what, how can I simplify this? I know I see the fives in common. Let's see, 45. 45 times three is 135, and 45 times four is 180. So this is gonna simplify to three pi over four. Maybe you'd have to use a calculator to get that, and that's fine. Uh, but this is gonna simplify to three pi over four. This equals three pi over four. And this is our degree, 135 degrees in radians, is three pi over four radians. So let's go and get go from radians to degrees now. So this is pretty similar. I can still use this ratio. But instead I'm gonna write it as, let's see, I'm gonna write it as 360 over two pi, which I can just go ahead and write 180 over pi, right? Y'all know that this simplifies. I'm gonna basically flip this, and the reason why is because I have my radian measure, which is gonna go on bottom, seven pi over six. 
that's what I have, and I'm solving for the degrees. I could flip this and flip this, but then what I'm solving for is in the denominator, and that's just more work. So I'm just kind of planning ahead and being smart with my proportions here. And again, I could have had both these flipped as well, um, but I'm just being smart with it because I know that I can just do one multiplication to get rid of this denominator and solve for x if I have it set up this way. So that's what I'm doing. So again, I multiply both sides by 7 power over 6, and that's going to solve for x. So think about how this is different than the last example. And now we're just multiplying by, instead of pi over 180, we're multiplying by 180 over pi. And this is going to give us, let's see, I multiply both sides by 7 pi over 6. Let me make sure to write that out. Let's not get sloppy. So that cancels here, and I'm left with x, which is what I'm trying to find. That's what this is in degrees, equals 7 pi over 6 times 180 over pi. When I evaluate this, that will be 7 pi over 6 radians in degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all this. Right off the bat, I see that the pi's cancel into each other. So this equals, let's see, the pi's cancel into each other. 6 goes into 180 30 times. So yeah, 6 times 30 is 180. That's correct. So cross these out, and I'm left with 30 on top, and the 7. So 7 times 30, which gives me, what, 210? So 210 degrees, okay? That's how you convert 7 power over 6 radians. That is 210 degrees. So in general, let's see, multiply by power over 180. That's for degrees to radians. And for radians to degrees, multiply by 180 over pi. And here's a quick trick for y'all. I won't go over too many examples because it's all the same. You just have different numbers. It's all the same. If you know how to multiply, then you can convert from radians to degrees. So just practice a bunch of examples on your own. I just want to kind of show this. Uh, before I got into a bunch of trig trigonometry videos, but real quick, this is another way you can remember what to multiply by. Most of the time, they don't have to, but most of the time, uh, measures uh, in radians will have pi in them, okay? They don't have to, but most of the time they do. So going from radians to degrees, this is the way I just remember it. This isn't always true. This is how I remember it. Radians to degrees, I'm trying to get rid of the pi because degrees doesn't have pi in it. So that's why the pi is on the bottom, because it ends up canceling the pi's, right? From degrees to radians, well, radians usually have pi in them, so I'm trying to basically add pi to the degree measure. So that's why the pi is on top here. So if you ever get those confused, that's one way I think of it to remember it. Again, don't take this as like some kind of general rule where, you know, all radian measures have pi in them. That's not true, but it's just a trick to remember, okay? So hope this video helps some people. If it did, make sure to hit like, leave any questions in the comments. And check out my channel for more videos. Keep flexing those brain muscles and keep making those brain gains. I'll see you in the next video.